we're going to show you how to make some of these dot mandala rocks. They're very fun and it's easy to learn. Uh, the first thing you need are some rocks. We went to uh, a landscape supply place and just dug through a bunch of beach rocks and found the ones that were the most round and bought a bunch of them. We bought 40 of them for three dollars. They were very inexpensive and that way you're not stealing rocks off of each. Um, you also need lots of paint. Uh, this is just regular craft paint from any uh, craft store. We just bought the sale stuff and you're going to need more black and more white than you will of the other colors. So make sure you have a couple bottles of that if you're going to do a lot of these. Um, you're also going to need things to paint with. We tried a bunch of brushes in different shapes and sizes and we just couldn't get consistent results. So we've switched over to using things like a, like a pencil eraser to make uh, good consistent sized dots or uh, even um, we use a, a manicure tool that I got from the, the beauty supply at Fred Meyer and that gives you a lot of control for your smaller dots and uh, I bought some dowels to do some of my larger dots and these work great too. Um, once we get better at this we'll probably go back to brushes but for now this is good for us. I also got these cool little things. Um, they are q-tips. They have a pointy end and a flat end and these are good for cleaning up mistakes in a hurry. So when you're going to do a rock, uh, the first thing you're going to do is paint the center of it black. Uh, and you're going to let that dry because that's going to be the base of your design. On any of these we have a black background. So you're going to paint a circle of black in the middle and let it dry. And then you're going to decide what sort of design you want. There's three different designs you can do. Each one is going to start with a circle in the middle and then you're going to start doing dots coming out from the center. One way to do it, to eyeball it, is to make a cross with four dots and then just add a dot in between each of those and that'll give you a pretty good basis to start from. That's what uh, this rock has started with. I did a cross with the purple and then just filled in with the blue and then you just keep repeating that as you go out. Another way to do it is to make your center circle start with a cross and then do two dots. Try and make them the same size in between each one and then as you go out you're going to offset. You're going to go in between each dot as you keep going out and the dots get bigger and bigger and that's basically what this design is. We started with uh, this in the middle and then just started coming out and each one was offset in the next row and each row is bigger. So that's an easy one to do and then the one that we just learned today instead of starting with a cross you're going to start with a triangle design and then you're going to go in between each of those and not only are you going to offset, but you're going to do different colors on each row to give more of a spiral effect. And then once all of that is done, I go back and I put a, a lighter shade of the same tone in each one to give it some depth and make it pop. And then I go around the outside and add, you know, little dots to make it look like, like jewelry or, uh, we're going to go for some snowflake effects too. But that's basically how it's done. You just need to practice.